What's going on guys? It's Jason Morris here. Yes, we are here in Tasmania. This is beautiful Hobart. You can see the Tasman Bridge right behind me. I am here to give you guys the Hoham iSteady Pro 2. So they've only just released this uh, as we speak today. Um, I have received this a couple of weeks ago. They sent it to me so I could test it out and see how this thing goes. It is incredible. It is super, super fast and responsive. This thing is actually splash proof as well, which is fantastic for the DJI Osmo action. I do have my GoPro Hero 4 on here. This doesn't have any sort of image stability, which is fantastic because I can obviously chuck it on here and get nice smooth footage, which is really, really good for the, uh, the GoPro Hero 4. Um, the main thing that I want to test it out with is the Osmo Action and the HDR mode because Rocksteady doesn't actually work in HDR mode with the Osmo Action and it will be really good to test that out here. This is the Hoham I'm recording right now at 2.7K. This doesn't do 4K, it is an old GoPro Hero 4 but it is uh, 25 frames per second so I am matching it up into the same timeline and you can see how steady it is. This is sport mode here where you can hold the trigger down and it follows your movements nice and fast. But you can see it's nice and steady. The good thing about this one is that you can obviously, like any other gimbal, control your pans, your tilts, and your roll as well, which is fantastic. Double tap on the trigger and re-centers it, which is fantastic if you do get a little bit lost and you're trying to uh, re-center it. Double tap and away you go. It's nice and easy to re-center. You do have this screw mount on the side as well. So this will allow you to attach, I'd say, a uh, phone mount because you can pair it up into your phone. So if you download the iSteady app, you can uh, obviously sync it with your app and then you'll be able to sync it with your GoPro or Action, Osmo Action, whatever, and you'll be able to access a whole bunch of different functions through your phone. Now also, the good thing about this one here is that the mode dial here, you have four different functions. You just tap it once for the regular function there, tap it twice for the next, and the mode, the little uh, LED signal, will actually um, flash twice. If you tap it twice, it'll flash three times. If you tap it three times, so you know which mode you're actually in. The good one is, one, two, three, four, is the full follow mode, where it follows every single action that you do, but it is nice and stable. Obviously, being a gimbal, it's going to be quite stable. So I'm going to do a little bit of a running test for you guys and show you what it's like through the GoPro Hero 4. So I'm going to turn this right around into selfie mode. Am I, am I recording on that? Is there a big red button to say I'm recording? No. Hang on. Am I? Black screen. Black screen. Press record on the GoPro. I haven't used the GoPro Hero 4 in a long time. The big flashy red button on the front tells you that you're recording. Great. I'm going to go for a bit of a running test to see what this thing is like when you are running. So you can see it's actually quite stable when you're running. This is on the Hero 4. Pretty simple. Hand on the trigger so it will follow the motion. But this is exactly what it's like running. Absolutely fantastic. Still got my hand on the trigger, so it's following me quite fast. Double tap that front, boom, returns to the front, which is a fantastic feature on that. That trigger makes it follow it nice and fast. I absolutely love it. Double tap and back to the front. All right, uh, we're gonna test this thing out a little bit more and we'll get back into it. So like I said, with the Osmo Action, it doesn't have rock steady in this HDR mode. So this is uh, recording at 4K, 25 frames per second, with uh, the obviously the Pro 2, the iSteady Pro 2. Um, now this obviously HDR mode gives you a lot more dynamic range, which allows you to keep more information through your shadows and your highlights. 
this gimbal right here allows you to capture that much more dynamic range, uh, obviously through that. Now you can see the beautiful sceneries here in Hobart. It is absolutely incredible. We only just landed in Tasmania uh, a couple of days ago. We are headed off uh, to Cradle Mountain in a couple of days. That's going to be incredible because it will be snowing. Cradle Mountain is going to be an incredible experience. Remember, double tap on it, returns to the front. Absolutely love that. Hold that uh, trigger and it's a nice fast follow mode. When you go down into this, nice smooth motions, nice and low. So if you wanna get those nice follow motions, you nice, obviously standard ninja walk and away you go. Follow me. Come backwards, follow me. And you can see following me nice and smooth boom giving her a bit of a workout we've been eating a whole bunch of fantastically tasty foods here on our holidays um, anyway guys this is the iSteady Pro 2 by Hoham make sure you check it out link is in the description below if you want to check this bad boy out um, guys my name is Jason Morris and I'll see you in the next video. All right, let's get it.